I think that the opportunity to make something new, to create something from nothing is, it's like magic. It's, it's unbelievably important. My name is Colin Murdy and I'm the founder of the Murdy Creative Company. So my interest in leather work goes back many, many years to when I was in high school. I became interested in leather and I've always loved the material. I think there's something very primal, very human about leather. And I think the use of leather goes back so far and is in so many different tools in, in, in the history of the world that it has a lot of natural connection to our roots and to our tradition. So I've always loved working with it and the opportunity to make books came about when I was a senior in high school and I was able to finally take an art class. And one of the art classes that I was part of had making books as a portion of the curriculum. I made my first book there and I'd been journaling since my brother, Art Marcus, my older brother, had gone off to college. And when I was making this book, it, it opened up a whole world to me. And there was so, the, the history of bookbinding is this enormous, expansive, global diff, you know, type of craft and artwork that has so much history to it. I think the reason I love this so much is the flexibility and the capability that I have in my job and with what I'm doing to try something new. I have an immense opportunity to say, I want to do things differently today. We'll do things differently. The ability to have the flexibility in my day and to be able to say, if I want to wake up and have breakfast with my family and not be rushed, and if I want to go home a little bit early because I've got, I mean, I have children. I mean, it's their, they have a life. I want to be part of it. So that flexibility to be able to have that is, is huge. Lord God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love is supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. My faith, I think, plays an enormous role in who I am as a person and, by extension, what we are as a company. I think every company is a reflection in some ways of the founder's DNA and who they are as people. For me, faith has become such an important part of my life. And I mean, I grew up a Midwestern Lutheran, so I, we have a, we're a very grounded people. And we take, uh, take great pride in our work and, and we, you know, there's a lot of, uh, lot of value, I think, that, that my faith has brought me. My job especially, I think, requires an enormous amount of faith. That line, by paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown, it, it summed up the challenge of being an entrepreneur in such a, a simple way, in such a, a profound way in many ways, which was, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's going to happen next. In fact, nobody knows what's going to happen next. And we all exist in this world of fear and of, well, a lot of trials. There's a lot of trouble. And it's only because I think of my faith that I've been able to stand up to the enormous pressure that comes from having people's livelihoods in your hand. So this was Kona. We were using Kona cotton as our as the, the white material that you see here. And so the we had a bolt at the end of it all and we took one of the masks that we were making and we put it on and this just kind of became our mascot during the pandemic. COVID was a huge issue for every small business, for everyone. It affected everyone's lives immensely. For us, there were really two halves to the COVID story. The pandemic was kind of starting to get rolling. People were talking about maybe needing to do a lockdown. And of course, everyone's like, that's never gonna happen. And so I was sitting there thinking and listening to the radio and they were talking about how they might need to shut down non-essential businesses. And I called up Merrill and I said, we, we've got to make ourselves essential immediately. Uh, and they were talking about uh, the PPE and the personal protective equipment being essential and qualifying as essential manufacturing. I'm driving in traffic. I'm on a I-41 going north. And I call her now over the, over the headphones and I said, we got to figure out how to make masks. And so she, that night, put together, I think, four different samples of different types of masks, different, you know, lengths and sizes and things like that. We finally kind of settled on uh, a design that's a three-pleat system with a nose piece, a metal nose piece, and ties. And it looked like it could have come straight out of MASH. I mean, it was the classic cloth white doctor's mask from, you know, the 1918 pandemic. It could have come right out of the photos. So flash forward, it's now uh, 2021. 
we're in the middle of our move. So we had to move from our tiny 1,200 square foot building into this beautiful 2,700 square foot space. And we had to set new furniture up and new racking and a whole bunch of other things. And because of the supply chain shortage, we weren't getting most of our stuff until the end of that month. So we're moving in September 3rd, I think. But we, did, we were working out of boxes for an entire month. And we're seven days behind, eight days behind, which is pretty long for us. And then I got sick with Delta and Evan got sick with Delta and it flowed through the entire team within a day and a half, everyone was sick. So I came in by myself in a workshop that was designed really to function with about eight people. And at the time we had, I think seven. And I am by myself cutting the leather, engraving the leather, washing the leather, assembling the leather, shipping the leather, everything from start to finish all by myself to try to keep us on track. I think those were the two most difficult stories of the COVID experience for us as a company was both trying to make the PPE and make ourselves essential and help in the community in that regard, but then also having COVID affect us directly and being out for a week. Having the, wet, the workshop shut down was immensely difficult for us, but that was, the, that was our COVID experience. This is Colin Murray, and I hope to see you at the table.